Hello, in this video I'll show you a very simple arrangement in Blazor uh, to create a sort of carousel arrangement. Uh, now it could be uh, switching between different cards, it could be the switching between images for product placements and all that sort of stuff. Uh, it's all available there, but this is just a basic example just to show you how it can be done without JavaScript, how it can be achieved. If you want to learn more about Blazor, take a look at my Blazor course, there's much more in that. But as you can see here, we have uh, essentially uh, cards uh, in these um, uh, carousel um, containers, changing every sort of three seconds. There is a timer involved, so you see card two, now you'll see card three. Uh, we can move it with uh, arrows as well. Go back, go forth. Uh, that's basic basic arrangement of a carousel. Uh, this code will also be available on Patreon if you need to reference uh, and, or maybe use it uh, with some uh, perhaps design improvements. Uh, but it's relatively straightforward uh, when it comes to the actual code. Uh, of course first we have um, some HTML. The HTML simply contains a couple of buttons so for going to the previous and to the next card and then the actual card placement. Uh, now, this could be a uh, Blazor component. This could certainly be that, and this probably should be that in most uh, arrangements, especially if you have title, if you have description, it would probably be better to split it up. But it could also, instead of a div element, it could be an image. It could certainly be that as well. Uh, other than that, we have some classes with a uh, little code behind. We have carousel, just a little stuff now, just to make it all fit and uh, look somewhat decent in the example. Uh, but uh, the important part, of course, is the logic. Again, we're not using any JavaScript at all. It's pure C sharp. Uh, we have a cards list right here. Uh, we have a little object for cards. Uh, and again, as I mentioned previously, this could be uh, going into component. This could be uh, much more than a title. It could be title, description, dates, all the, all kinds of different things. So whatever you want uh, your carousel to present. Uh, uh, but basically, we have those cards and that list uh, uh, will be displayed on the current index. So we, ju we just need to, to have some kind of a way to jump to that specific index. Right here we have a list. So we generate, we'll probably retrieve that from some API or somewhere. So we will have that list already. We have current index. From there we take title. The only thing now we have to do with the C sharp logic somewhere on those button clicks or with a timer is to change the index. So uh, going uh, to the next one, it will increase and going to previous, it will decrease. Uh, uh, if we look at, at that here, the interval is in seconds, uh, we will use that later. But we also use uh, timer from system timers. Uh, this is a very useful thing. You don't need to have like an infinite loop. Uh, uh, you can just use the timer directly. It's all made for you. So you don't need to kind of create your own thing. Uh, very useful arrangement here. On initialize the sync, we simply uh, retrieve some data here just to have some, something to showcase. Then we set the timer. Uh, we uh, essentially put in the interval there. Uh, multiply by 1000, so it's uh, not in seconds, it's in milliseconds, right? Uh, we have a timer and then we have uh, essentially a little event handler uh, for for the actual timer. So when the time uh, reaches uh, those three seconds, it will do something. It will go essentially to the next uh, card and then we start the timer, that's it. So that's all handled in the background, that's all great and good. Uh, uh, we can forget about that, uh, well, to some extent. Uh, uh, we also use invoke a sync state has changed. You could also just do state has changed. Uh, this is uh, a bit better. Again, you can watch the course. You will learn more about state has changed and invoke a sync and uh, how background tasks uh, work in Blazor and uh, different types of Blazor. Uh, so we're going from next uh, to next cards. Uh, we just change the current index, so plus one. Uh, of course, we also want to check if it doesn't reach um, uh, the actual count. Uh, if it does, then it's uh, not really good. We want to go back to the first one, so to index zero, essentially. Uh, perfectly a uh, fine thing to do, right? And the previous one is uh, exactly the same thing. Uh, we do current index minus one plus God's count. So uh, it will either go to zero or it will go to the top one if... Uh, 
uh, it it goes uh, essentially out of bounds of that whole arrangement. Uh, so again, the main thing here is uh, the fact that we can actually uh, simply modify the index, and that's it. Uh, and of course, we need to dispose of a timer once we get rid of a page or component. Uh, very simple arrangement. Uh, getting back to the timer, it will execute when the time elapses, uh, so when those three seconds uh, pass, it will execute simply next card. So we don't need to write up any kind of another event method or anything like that. It's, it's just gonna reuse the same next uh, uh, cards method. Uh, so again, we don't need to use any JavaScript. It's all very straightforward straightforward. Uh, we just need to modify that index. Once that changes, then the value will change. And of course, if you have a component, you can change the whole card instead of just putting the title. So, you know, of course, it would need to do that in the component. Uh, and with that, you can use uh, uh, references to the component. You can reset them and, and do all that sort of stuff to, to have some CSS effects uh, appearing and disappearing of the cards. Uh, uh, and once again, if you want to learn more about Blazor, do check out my course. Uh, we will start from uh, relatively basic stuff going into more advanced stuff like security and different types of Blazor, uh, form validation, custom validation, uh, and all these uh, different things. Uh, this code is available on Patreon. And with that said, we will conclude this video.